on two tonight, thieves ransack a mom and pop comic book store, and the entire crime was caught on camera. The crooks destroyed the cash register, then went after the safe and valuable electronics inside. Now the owners are working to make sure other small businesses remain vigilant to avoid becoming targets this holiday season. Channel 2's Keith Garvin live now from the Pop Culture Company in West Houston. Keith? Bill, they sell comic books and action figures like this one here, but when thieves walked into this store using a sledgehammer to smash this front door, they weren't looking for comic books or action figures. They just wanted cold, hard cash. Obviously, from the video, the guys were... They knew what they were doing. They moved in fast and made quick work of this burglary job inside a West Houston comic book and toy store. Take a look at the left-hand side of this surveillance video as a sledgehammer flies into the store after three thieves smash through the front door of the pop culture company store on the Katy Freeway near Kirkwood early Tuesday morning. It didn't seem like they really had so much as a specific agenda other than we're going to get the register and look for a safe. And whatever else we can get. The crooks were in the store for just three minutes, but managed to get away with a cash register, a small safe in the back room, and also a laptop and a tablet. Owner Robert Quijano is surprised, but thankful his treasured merchandise of action figures and comic books largely were left untouched. But for this small business owner, the damage was costly. It looks to be somewhere in the neighborhood, something between maybe seven or eight thousand dollars worth of. Of damage. Quijano also was grateful the burglar struck when no one was inside the store, but he believes if they aren't caught, they will strike another business or home. This is obviously what they do. They, I, I get up in the morning, I come to work, I sell comic books. They get up in the evening and they go out and they steal things from people. And just to give you an idea of just how quickly those thieves were able to work, the surveillance video shows that they used that sledgehammer to smash into the store at 12.08, and they were out of here by 12.11. So they most likely did not have last night to be their very first time to ever break into a store or into a home. Reporting live for West Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News.